Okay guys, let's jump to the next video. So the next, uh, this video will be about how to create a marble tile level texture and how to import and how to apply this marble tile level texture directly on top of our model. So we can then later use that as the base in order to generate all of the different colors and all of the procedural albedo for our um, creature and for our skin material. So what I will do first is simply, I will go into my node graph and create a tile level. So tile using this node, then I will double click on this guy, click on the open button. I will localize uh, my marble texture. So let me just find it. Should be in texture files, creature XYZ. And basically this marble texture in the um, kind of kind of the texture I'm always using in order to create the base, the albedo, the base of the albedo for my creature. So this one is like really simple, but it has a lot of vibrancy in it. I've been using that for years and I've been using that also in my former tutorial. So I will keep using it and this will become the main variation, the main vibrancy reference for all the different colors, all the different hue. I will apply to my um, skin material. Anyway, let's control C that, control V directly into Mari so I can import this marble texture. So this is an utility SRGB texture. Let's open it. Okay. And let's visual, visualize that uh, directly in on top of my model. So this is what I have so far. What I want to do is maybe to start repeating it a little bit more. Something like five by five can work. I will use something like that. Then what I will do, so what we can see directly here is that we have seams, visible seams happening. Those seams are happening all over the UV seams that we have on top of the, um, on this model. This is because the Tile level is done directly on top of the UVs. The tiling is done directly on top of the UVs and not a tree planner pro projection. So this is not a problem. Let's start renaming things a little bit more. So this one will be my albedo TLD for tile level. I will merge it. And on top of it, I will create a new layer. This new layer can be 16 bits. Uh, I want the base to be empty. So I will just take the alpha and put it at zero. And uh, because I'm painting color information now, I want to uncheck the Scala option box and click on OK. So this one will be my albedo since cleaning layer. And I will simply merge this layer on top of the other one. Albedo seems cleaning MRG for merge. And let's double click on this guy. What I want to do now is to start using my pencil. And with my pencil, what I will use is this marble texture. So I can use Mari uh, Mirror Projection X. Just remember, guys, if you are using that to go in, should be in Painting, and then in Painting in Mirror Projection, you just want to enable the masking dynamic. So you can paint through both sides of the model while using the symmetry. So I will paint my scenes out. like this. Okay, I want to do the same for all the model. Uh, so this is what is taking a bit of time. So just a bit of time to clean up. Do not have to do that at the beginning because we are, we are using procedural approach, which means that if we want to update that later or if things are not perfect from the beginning, then it's not it's not a problem. We can update and create this clean seams layer later on. OK, 
okay. Just keep it like this. Just want to get rid quickly of this sim, UV sim. Just like cleaning the more um, critical points, the more critical areas of my model using this technique. And then the rest will have to be done later when I will cut the video or uh, even at the end of the process. Do not need to do that now. Again, procedural approach means that you are, you are really flexible and if you need to change anything, you can do it on the go and you will not, it will not affect or it will not break things that are, that have already been done on top of your model. So, uh, yeah, let's keep it like this for now. So I will just sail, go back to my node graph and inside of this node graph. Now I want to start cleaning things a bit, or I want to start maybe doing a little bit of color color grading on top of this albedo. So the main albedo for my model should be pink because I want to start with a pink color. Uh, it's like the, it will be the main and the primary hue of the skin texture, the skin um, material I want to achieve. So for this reason, I will do a little bit of uh, adjustment. So what I will do is just to select this one, create a remap. Is it a remap? No, it should be just HSV. So this one will be my albedo TLD um, HSV and I will make it slightly brighter. I can saturate it a bit more or um, we'll be able to play with the saturation later. Make it maybe a little bit more pink like this and this will become my primary color, really the primary color I want to start my model with. Now I can just like connect this guy to the diffuse color of my shader. Let's have a look quickly at the shader. Okay, so this is what we have in the viewport. Maybe I want to make it even brighter. Let me just check that Everything is happening within the right color space, which I'm not sure of. Yeah, should be the right color space. Um, diffuse weight should be at one, actually. And yeah, we have the base color for our model. So um, we can now clean a little bit more this. Um, what I can do is to select these different layers Okay, group that. This one will become my albedo TLD, TLD for group. I do not want to put the layer directly inside of this GRP because this GRP is uh, fully procedural and this layer is paint information. So the paint information should be should stay out of the procedural information I will get at the end. And I can just go in this, rename things a bit more. So what I want to get here is the albedo things cleaning layer that will go inputs, that will be an input here. Okay, and I want to quickly be uh, capable of um, promoting values directly to the GRP. So what I want to do is to select this albedo TLD and what I want to promote, for example, is the repetition on top of the UVs. What I want to promote here will be the different values that I have. So I will not have to dig back inside of this GRP. I will simply be able to select the nodes, main nodes at the top level of my node graph and I will be able to play with these values. So pick this one, this one and this one and when I will go back to my main node graph, if I'm double clicking on this GRP, now I can customize things on the go without having to dig back inside of this node. 
last thing that we can do is to use a canob um, group and for example we can merge or we can link these two repetition together let's rename that albedo or yeah albedo tld repeat click on ok and then we'll simply have to play with this value to make the um, UVs, so the marble texture to tile a bit more on the UVs. So guys, this is it for the primary color, for the um, primary marble color. And in the next video, we'll be able to start creating more different primary colors on top of this skin procedural uh, texture. So this is it for this video, guys. See you in the next one.